All right, I am at the airport here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I am about to continue my journey to visit every country in Southeast Asia. But before I will head to a new country, a country where I have never been to before, I'm going to make a short stop in Bangkok to eat something special. Feel free to join me. All right, I checked in already online, but uh, I need to get the tag for my bag so I can use uh, the self check in counters here. All right, and the tag secured. So I remember from the last time I did this, I have to uh, yeah put the bag tag on the bag and then put my bag here. Let's see if it's easy going. Scan your boarding pass. Uh, the boarding pass is on my phone. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Ken. Confirm. Please make sure there are no children on the baggage belt. Uh, no children. 13.1 kilo. Okay, bye bye. See you in Bangkok, hopefully. And I have officially left Malaysia. I am through immigration and uh, oh, it's always a weird feeling to uh, leave Malaysia or to leave a country that you really like in general. But uh, I'll be back, Malaysia. I'll be back. And yeah, I'm also very excited for new adventures, to visit new countries. So uh, the journey continues. Also very exciting. Perfect, sir. Thank okay, you. Thank you. All right, let's board the flight. The flying time is only around two hours, so it should be an easy flight today. Bye bye. Thank you. All right, and we have made it to Bangkok, and yeah, the flight was easy, only two hours. But the good thing is, because of the time difference, I actually only lost one hour, so easy going. All right, arrivals and immigration. Let's see if the immigration process is easy and smooth. Wow, so this was literally an immigration process of one minute. They just checked my passport, I get a stamp, 30-day visa on arrival, like uh, before the pandemic. They didn't even ask for a certificate of vaccination, nothing just as it was in the good old time before the pandemic. Wow, crazy. All right, and my bag also made it to Bangkok. Yeah, let's get a taxi. Let's go to the city and do what we came here for, get some food. Hello, Samadika. Okay. Okay. What do you think? How long will we need? How long? 35 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, that's okay. I just go heavy. Heavy okay. TC. That's okay, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Alright, half an hour taxi ride <laughs> through Bangkok. And we are back on the streets of Bangkok and Rao. It feels really good to be back here. I love this city. Wow, in case you don't know, I used to live here actually for over six months back in 2019 and since then I returned many times and yeah, let's see what food we can get, some, st some street food, some Thai food, I see something here already, Sawadikap, Anini Araikap, Tap, Mo, Tap, Chicken, Chicken, oh this looks uh, like inside chicken, Ah, I think it's the inside of chicken. Yeah. Uh, I need more makeup. Need more. Uh, how much? Five baht. Five baht. Can I get four? Four pieces of uh, chicken, uh, pork. Yeah, this is not going to be my main course. Just a little uh, snack on the way. Ah, she has a grill here. Ah. Aloy mak. Aloy. <laughs> Aloy mak. Hopefully. Yeah, the streets of Bangkok really get alive in the evenings. So it is. What time is it now? Five thirty. So almost uh, dinner time, I would say, and yeah, many of these stalls here pop up in the evenings. 
And over there is a little uh, food market where I will head to uh, to get the main course. And there's also 7-Eleven over there. So probably I also get a little snack at 7-Eleven because there's something that... Hello. Hello. <laughs> because uh, 7-Eleven in Thailand sells something that you can't get in other 7-Elevens. Okay. Uh, 20 baht. Yisip. 20 is Yisip, right? Oh, I need to get my uh, Thai uh, going again. Yisip for 20. Samsip 30. How do you say 40 again? 40? No, but um, uh, Yisip, Sisip, Sisip. Sisip, Hasip, okay. My Thai comes back. Okay, Kapu Gap, thank you very much. Somebody Gap. Um, uh, our Chantaloop Cup. Chantaloop. Chantaloop. Uh, I don't understand that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Okay, Okay. Twenty baht. Okay. Cup, cup, cup. Ah, you also make a smoothie. Yes, yeah, smoothie. Smoothie. Yeah. Um. Ah, she has a menu here. Oh, even in English. Um, can I get chantaloupe? Get the loop. Smoothie. Okay. With um, with orange, som. No, no, uh, chantaloup and orange ah, mixed one. together. One. Okay. Mm? Ah, I didn't know she also has smoothies. So that is something that I love in Bangkok. You can get fresh fruits, fresh fruit smoothies on basically every corner. That is something that I missed actually. Nice. Yeah, quite uh, inexpensive here. Like a smoothie for 30 baht. So that is uh, less than one US dollar for a fresh and healthy smoothie here. Probably is going to be a little bit more because I'm adding two fruits. This one? Oh, huh? ah. But um, my, my owl? Okay, that's just a smoothie then. Ah, she just got uh, new ones, but I just wanted to uh, mix the ones that I just bought into the smoothie, but okay anyway. Doesn't really matter which pieces she uh, makes into the, the blender. Uh, my owl, my owl, my owl cup. No sugar. No sugar, more healthy. <laughs> it's so nice to be back in Bangkok. I'm just gonna stay here very short, but still uh, I love coming back to Bangkok. If you have been to Bangkok before, you probably know this feeling. Even back here on the streets, hearing all the noises, the smells of Bangkok. Oh, amazing. Huh? Ah. But, um, uh, Som? Yeah, Som? Ah, okay, okay. Ah, she mixed together. I think that most of these stalls here are basically just in front of their houses. I think that she's living here. The same as the, the woman over there, probably these are just their houses. And then they have a little pop-up store in the evenings here. That's, uh, that's Thailand. Just opening up a little uh, business in front of your house wouldn't be that easy where I'm from in Germany. Is this your home? Huh? Your home? Your house? Yeah. Ah, you live here. Ah, and then uh, shedding fruits in front of your house. Okay, that's nice. Oh, check it out, that looks really good. Hello, oh, Mac Mac. It's so full that uh, she can't even really close it. Check it out. <laughs> Too full. Oh. <laughs> ah, die mag, die mag. Okay, how much you get? Uh, yeah. So 40 in total. Okay, popcorn mark up, thank you very much. Okay, bye bye. Okay, so 40 baht in total now for a smoothie. Let's try it right away. Oh, I love the, the orange kick to it, really nice. And yeah, check it out, we have more of these small restaurants here, which are basically, I think, all just in uh, the houses of the people here. Wow, love it. But yeah, okay, so we have, let me turn the camera around so you can see it. So we have a little uh, market here, which I guess is one of these typical Thai food places where you can basically get every Thai dish you can imagine and then they cook it as you like it. These stalls are usually called cook to order. So you can order whatever you want and adjust this 
to your liking, but before I will get my main dish here, let me get something from 7-Eleven. Something that I didn't had for a long time. Oh, we have lottery tickets here as well. <laughs> oh, I bought one of these tickets before, but never had any luck here. Oh, you hear the sound of 7-Eleven? Uh, uh, that sound brings back memories for me. But I am looking to get... I want to get one of these sandwiches here because these sandwiches are the best. And I can't really see the sandwich that I'm looking for. It's a, a green one with spinach. Actually, I think it's this one, but the look is new. Okay, let's get this one. Just this one. Uh, check it. Okay, let's get this one. Alright, 35. And what they do here, they um, put it into these sandwich makers. And then you get a fresh and hot sandwich. Ah, the best. I love these sandwiches here. And I'm just coming uh, from Malaysia, where you don't have these sandwiches in uh, 7-Eleven over there. Uh-huh. Okay, cup cup. Let me wait a while now until the sandwich is finished. And a few minutes later and the sandwich is finished. Looks very good. Dimak, dimak. Okay, cocktail markup, thank you very much. Yeah, so we have a few side dishes now. Um, by the way, if you plan to visit Thailand in the near future as well, I actually have a Thailand travel guide ebook. I will link it down below if you want to check it out. Over 100 pages full with useful travel tips for Thailand, suggested travel routes, a detailed cost breakdown of monthly expenses, average monthly expenses here, and also over 250 Google Maps locations all over Thailand to places that I have visited that I can really recommend. Hotels, restaurants, markets, viewpoints, everything. If you want to check out that uh, ebook, uh, I will link it down below in the description and in the pinned comment. But now, let's get some food. So yeah, we have one of these typical stalls here. Cook to order and basically all the Thai dishes that you can imagine. Um, can't really read it here, so let me ask if they have what I'm looking for. Hello. Um, คุณมียานามูกอบครับมีครับมีมีแต่ตอนนี้ดูแท้ฟินิชเยสไม่มีแต่วันนี้มีแต่ไอ้หมดแล้วหมดแล้วหมดแล้วต้องกินหมดล
Oh, this has so many memories. It's not the exact same sandwich that I used to like. They didn't have the exact same one, but it's very similar. Mm, with spinach and the melting cheese inside and ham, I guess. Oh, nice, amazing. Mm. Uh, here you can see the spinach is melting out. This is not Thai food by any means, so I know this is not typical Thai food, but it always reminds me about my time here in Bangkok because uh, I used to eat them uh, a lot. Mm. And wash it down with some smoothie. Mm. Okay, let's also see these meat skewers are any good. I think one piece was uh, five baht, so these little snacks are very inexpensive. And, oh, fresh from the grill. Mm. It's not a full meal eating these skewers, but you can also get sometimes rice on the side, for example, maybe some sauce as well, and then it can turn into a full meal. Love it. Ah, okay, she just brought the meal and wow, that looks amazing. And what I really love here, usually if you order Pat Kapao, it comes with minced pork, but here she has actual real big pieces of pork. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, one of the most popular dishes in Thailand, Pat Kapao. You can also get it with chicken. I think even with seafood. I'm not sure if I saw it with seafood before, but probably you can. So it looks super delicious. And yeah, pat kapao, pat means fried, and kapao is holy basil. These green leaves that you see inside the meal, that is the holy basil. And yeah, they, they just uh, fry it together with some spices. And it tastes, let's say, like that, very typical Thailand for me. So let me give it a try. Ah, I love the atmosphere here. Before I try it, the music around here, Thai people sitting here, drinking here in the evening. Oh, amazing. Wow, this is Thailand for me. <laughs> oh. The first time eating Thai food since January, so like eight months ago was the last time. Mm. And then we have an egg here. Oh, look at this. When the egg yolk is like this, it's amazing. So you can mix it together with some rice here. Oh. I'm very happy. Yeah, this is not a famous street food place here. This is just a random food market that you can basically find in every street in Bangkok. But that's all I need to, uh, to be satisfied. Typical, authentic Thai street food experience like this. Oh. Mm. And I didn't ask how much this meal is, but I guess usually a meal like this at a local place like this should be like 50, 60 baht maximum. So let's see by the end what the price of this is going to be. Mm. And yes, I'm eating rice with a fork. <laughs> Every time I do that in one of my videos, there's always somebody in the comment section complaining about why I'm eating rice with a fork. But that's how we do it in Germany, where I'm from. But uh, of course you can also eat it with a spoon. Oh, this is really delicious. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite food from Thailand? The food that you eat right away when you come back to Thailand. So actually I was looking for Ghana Mo Gop, which is crispy pork with rice. But uh, this is also uh, pretty good. Well, now that the music has gone, it's a little bit more quiet here. So I hope the music didn't uh, ruin the sound too much. Okay, let me finish this and then we see how much this meal is going to cost me. And yes, I already see some comments uh, saying, oh, without chili, it's not a real Pat Kapao. You need to add chili to have the, the real taste. And yes, I know that usually this dish uh, is full with chilies actually, but uh, currently my stomach uh, can't handle chilies that well. so. I rather uh, eat it without the chilies now. <laughs>
All right, that was delicious. And now you may think, oh, this whole video just to eat a simple pad kapao. Yes, sometimes it's not about the dish being that special. It is about the overall experience, the atmosphere here, the feeling of being back in Bangkok after a long time. So that was amazing for me eating in a local place like this. I love it. Kapkun makap was aloy mak mak. Tao lai kap? Kasipa. So that's uh, 50 baht. So I guess the regular dish itself is uh, 40 baht and then 10 baht extra for the, for the fried egg. Okay, top cup, cup, thank you very much. Top cup, cup, thank you, bye bye. See you, bye bye. And actually, I would like to show you a place over here. I'm not hungry anymore, I'm very full actually now. But there is one street food store here which is actually special. It's a, a chain of street food chain, how you want to call this, with this uh, purple roof. And what's special about this chain is, it's a local Thai chain, you will see it because I guess the menu is only going to be in Thai. Well, they even have English here, yes, but they are selling Western food. So in case you are craving Western food, look out for this chain. So they have a pork chop here, for example, American fried rice, T-bone steak, chicken steak, and as you can see, the prices are very inexpensive. So you get chicken steak, ah, somebody cup. Uh, one knee, boom, in. in. But I want to look, oh, maybe yeah. tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm full. So where was I? So you can get a chicken steak, for example, with uh, vegetables and french fries for just 40 baht, which is like a dollar twenty, something like that. So very inexpensive Western food. And here yeah, I tried them before at this uh, chain. And they're actually very good. The portions are not that big, so maybe you need two portions, but even then it's very uh, inexpensive. So just as a little uh, side recommendation, in case you crave uh, Western food in Bangkok or in Thailand in general. And yeah, as I said at the beginning of this video, I'm only going to stay here for a very short time and then I'm heading to a new country in Southeast Asia, a country where I have never been to before. So I'm very excited for that. So the next video will be uh, flying to the new country. So make sure you are coming back for that. In case the video is already online, the, the next video, I will link it right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you in the next episode. Ciao, guys.